Recently, the chief engineer called me and asked me to meet him at the radio station transmitter site because the transmitter is no longer producing 50,000 watts. Evidently, we had some lightning get into the power supply. So I took my camera with me so I can take pictures of half of the power supply that is not working correctly so you can see what it looks like and what we have to do to get it back 100%. There are two three-phase power supplies powering this station and they're all the way toward the back and the one that has the problem is this one it's the one on the right side so we need to remove that panel and of course the corresponding panel in the back here the front panel has been removed and you can see some large heat sinks at the top and the large transformer at the bottom, three phase transformer. And here's a closer look at the heat sinks. There are 12 diodes connected to these heat sinks. And in this picture on the left side, that large angle iron at the front there on the left side, that is one of the three phase connections from the power transformer. Here's a closer look at that three phase power transformer. Now what we have to do is remove the top portion of this power supply, the heat sinks, and the 12 diodes. Here is a couple of spare diodes. We replaced four altogether. Now here the heat sink is on the table and you can see that we unbolted the connections that are connected to the bus bar and we just use a ohmmeter to check the diodes and we found four that are bad. Here's another look at the diodes, how they're connected to the heat sink, and you can see where the connection goes to the bus bar. We replaced the bad diodes. Now it's time to put the heat sink unit back into the power supply. Here's a closer look at those three phase connections. And now that everything is back together, of course we put the front and back panel back on the power supply and then do a full functional test on the transmitter to make sure that it will produce 50,000 watts.